Hello, viewers. How are you doing out there? I hope you are doing great. I welcome you to my channel, Exact Graphics and Multimedia. If this is the first time you are watching my video on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of video here. All you have to do is visit the channel, click on video, and then you scroll down and see a lot of variety of video I make on Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. And also, I used to make a video on how you can run an effective advertisement on Facebook or Instagram. That is what this channel is all about. So, and whenever you watch my video, also make sure you put down your comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you feel about the content. All right. So, let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back, viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a simple creative roller banner using Corel Draw. All right. So the first step you have to take as far as this tutorial is concerned is to create a page size of uh, 30 inches by 70 inches height. All right. Having done that, then you come to your tools bar, double click the rectangle tool to open the page border. All right. So now the next step you have to take is to click on your Eclipse tools. Then press shift key on your keyboard and draw a perfect eclipse. Right. Press P to centralize the eclipse. Right. So this eclipse now I'm going to duplicate it. All you have to do is to press shift key on your keyboard. Then drag it in a little bit then place it with your right click you're going to duplicate it this way all right so the next step i'm going to take now is to grab my pen tools you look for your pen tools at the tools bar as you can see here i have a free hand tools click it down then a dialog a variety of tools will pop down from the free hand tools then select your pen tools having select pen tools then you now sketch the area you want to sketch all right then to cut it here good and the next step i'm going to take is uh, i'm going to sketch another part here let me zoom out the entire document okay so i'm going to delete this one away so i need a sketch here and close the note good so the next step i'm going to take now let me zoom in the entire document go back to your zoom tool okay so the next step i'm going to take still go back to my pen tools then i need a shape here also good and also at this point i need another shape here good all right so I'm mean, going to this stage. The next step I'm going to take now, I need a rectangle. All you have to do is to go to your rectangle tools. When you get to your rectangle tools, then you draw the size of the rectangle. I need something like this. 
All right. Need a very small, tiny rectangle. Okay. So having get to this stage, the next step you are going to take is to press Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Then press Ctrl V to duplicate it. Then with your arrow key, just move it to the front. Or better still, and just drag it to this place. All right. So at this point in time, the next step I'm going to take is uh, I'm going to curve this particular area of the shape. So let me try uh, 100%. Press enter. Okay. Think the 100% is okay. Then the next step I'm going to take as far as this uh, shape is concerned is I'm going to group the two together. I press shift key and click on the second shape. Then you, you group it together this way. Then press Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Ctrl V on your keyboard. Having done that, then you now come to the mirror vertical, then mirror horizontal. Having done that, then with your arrow key, you just move the shape down a little bit. Or you can just use your move tool from the keyboard. Alright. So at this stage now, I'm going to group the two together. Having grouped the two together now, then I will now press P on my keyboard to centralize it. Then having centralized it, I move it down to where exactly I want to position it. Okay, at this stage now, the next step I'm going to take, I need another rectangle at the bottom here. Go back to the rectangle tools, then drag and draw a tiny rectangle. Good. So now, at this stage now, the next step to take is to apply color to our roll-up banner design. So now, to apply color to our design, the first step we have to take is to go and look for our Smart Fit Tools at the Tools Bar. This is Smart Fit Tool, then you click on it. Having click on it, then you apply it on some of the area you will need it. I need to change this place color. Okay. I need it here. No. To Z. Let me zoom out the document and see where the error is happening there. I need it here. Good. And I need it here and here. So I need to change the color here also. And it here. Good. So now I need it here. So good. So at this point in time, let me zoom in the entire document and see how far we have done. Okay. Now the next step I'm going to take. Okay, I need it at the bottom here. Good. So the next step I'm going to take as far as this is concerned is that I'm going to apply 
the appropriate color for the stuff. So what color I used was uh, sky blue and uh, cyan. With my smart fit tools, you click on smart fit tools, then you drag the smart fit tools, and I'm going to copy this particular color here. Okay. Then this place also before we color it, we have to match this two layer together. Press Shift key, match this one. Then go to your menu bar and click on Wedge. Having click on Wedge, go back to your Smart Fit tools. Then click and copy the color, applying it this way. And this one now, click and copy the color, applying it here. Good. Oh, there was a mistake here. I think something here. So I need another pen tools here. Sorry. So set. Okay. Then we'll now wear it together. Shift key and click on wet. Good. So the next thing I'm going to take, next step I'm going to take is that I'm going to fill this particular place as well. I'm going to copy the color. Good. So I'm going to fill this place. Smart fit tools and copy this color. Good. The smart fit tools. Copy the color. Good. Lastly, this particular joint. Copy the color. Good. So now, at this point in time, the, f the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to take away some of the outline color. I will select from the top first. Then right click on this particular shape. To take away the outline color then this joint now this shape this particular shape i'm going to ungroup them or better still i'm going to increase the uh, outline width to something like four then i will change the outline color to sky blue Let me try 10. It's not up here. Let me ungroup them. Let us zoom out the entire document and see. Okay. We have to ungroup this one also. Then we have to ungroup this one also. Okay. Now we can apply the outline color. Let me try 16. Then sky blue. 16 is a little bit small. I'm putting it 36. 36 is much. So I'm putting it 24. Okay. So this one also will be 24. And this one also will be 24. This one also will be 24. Okay, so I have to take away outline color from this place and also this place. All right, so the next step I'm going to take now is to insert my stock photo to the banner. All right, so all right, if you are so now to insert stock photo. To our banner that's the next step we are going to take now as far as this roller banner is concerned all this photo you can get them for free on google all you have to do is to type free photo on your google then you select any photo of your choice then you are good to go then one now to import our stock photo into the corel draw work area all you have to do is to click on this particular arrow that is simply means you want to import something or better still you press ctrl i on your keyboard a dialog box like this will pop up, then you select your picture, all right? But in this in this tutorial, I have my picture here right on my Corel Draw. 
So this is the first one I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. Then now to power clip it, you go to objects, look for a power clip, and place inside this particular frame. Then now we have to adjust our image. Have to adjust it until you are satisfied with the output of the result. Okay. So now, once I'm done, then you click on this particular place that has been placed. All right? So I'm going to take away the outline color here. So everything has been good. So the next Im image I'm going to take is this particular one here. I'm going to resize it. Just press Shift key on your keyboard and drag to resize the image. Then go to Objects. Power clip and place inside this particular place. Good. So the next image is this particular house. So go to objects, power clip, place inside frame. Good. Let me, let me adjust it. Right, good. So the next one we are, I'm going to take is this particular one here. So shift key to resize the image. Go to objects, power clip, place inside this frame. Good. So lastly, this lady image is going to be the last one I'm going to I use for this design. Go to objects. Power clip place inside this frame. Good. So now everything has been set. So the next step we are going to take is to input all our text to the banner. So it's just a very simple thing. All you have to do is to go to your text tools. Then you type whatever text you have to type. But in this tutorial, I'm going to copy some of the existing text here. So I have my text here already. I will just highlight everything like this. Then I'm going to group it together. And press Ctrl Z and Ctrl V just to copy it. And I'll now drag it here. This way I need it. Good. So at this point now, I need to adjust this particular place, okay? And I will adjust this one down here. Oh, so Z. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use my rectangle we need a shape here good then I'll fill it with the same color then right click on it order to the back of layer good and take away the outline color good so at the top here I have 
Now other text at the top. Just going to control Z and uh, control V. So I'm going to paste it here as well. Boom. So far, so good. Let me zoom in the entire document and see our roll up banner. So I believe we have learned one or two things in this tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to hit like button. And also, when you if you have any question, put it in the comment section down below. I believe you learn one or two things in this tutorial. Thank you for watching my video from the beginning to the end. See you soon. Bye.